Azerbaijan has filed a motion with respect to the Armenian occupation of Nagorno-Karabakh uh, and the surrounding territories. Can you tell me about that motion? The world recognizes that Azerbaijani territories have been occupied for more than 23 years by Armenia through armed aggression. The latest developments in Ukraine and the question of Crimea once more confirm that the world powers such as the EU and the US, as well as international organizations, are showing discrimination and double standards on Azerbaijan. The Council of Europe and other international organizations immediately reacted and applied sanctions against Russia stripping the Russian delegation of the right to vote and work in the administrative structures of PACE. We believe this has created a window of opportunity to restore justice for Azerbaijan as well. Therefore, we filed a motion to demand the application of the same sanctions against Russia to be applied against Armenia. This motion for resolution was signed by 58 European MPs from 14 different countries. But today I faced a shocking situation in the Council of Europe. Although we followed all the procedures and respected all the rules, the Secretary General Savitsky openly told me that I had to redraft my motion because it is simply impossible to impose sanctions against Armenia. Thus, as an Azerbaijani citizen, I believe that this institution, the Council of Europe, is a useless institution for Azerbaijan. Today, I was obliged to draft a new motion on the Armenian occupation and obtain the signatures of 26 MPs from 16 countries before filing it. I did this so as not to entirely lose hope because I want to serve my country and I don't want to return to my citizens in disgrace. You mentioned uh, the annexation of Crimea by the Russian Federation uh, and the international response to it. Does that response give you hope for growing international recognition of the importance of territorial borders and the rule of law? Of course. Yesterday, Irish Deputy um, Michael McNamara made a surprise motion uh, when most of the deputies had already left the chamber. Uh, how is Azerbaijan responding to this? McNamara and others designed a disgusting plot, disrespecting the procedural rules. The vote took place four minutes after the official end of the morning session at 1.04 p.m. They invited Azerbaijani and Turkish MPs to a lunch hosted in honor of the Azerbaijani foreign minister. Madam Anne Brasur personally extended an invitation to our head of delegation, Semet Seyadov. As soon as our delegation left the plenary hall, they benefited from the absence of the Azerbaijani and Turkish delegations, seized the opportunity to raise the issue, and won by a slim margin of five votes. This unlawful and shameful plot has only one purpose. Their aim is to make everyone forget the Armenian occupation of Azerbaijani territories, to show preferential treatment to Armenia against Azerbaijan, and mislead the world that it is an authoritarian state which violates human rights. Every person who is illegally imprisoned can have recourse through the European Court of Human Rights. This year, Azerbaijan assumed the chairmanship of the Committee of Ministers. Uh, what issues and concerns does Azerbaijan plan to bring to the fore uh, during that time? 
Azerbaijan is a democratic country. It's integrating with Europe. It is an open and transparent state implementing democratic reforms. One of our most important priorities is to continue to modernize and to develop the country further. So the fact that Azerbaijan is chairing the Council of Europe does not benefit Azerbaijan. This is my personal opinion. Russia's annexation of Crimea has refocused the world on the danger of frozen conflicts uh, and brought home the importance of the international uh, community in resolving them. Now, you mentioned that Azerbaijan still wants closer European integration. Do you think that attempting to work through this international body will help bring you closer to Europe and to the resolution of frozen conflicts? Biz bura mən düşünürəm ki, öz başıma gələnlərə, çünki qətnəmə layihəsinə mən müəllifiyəm və bu devirdə mən... Taking into account my frustrating experience and the negative reaction of the Council of Europe towards my motion demanding sanctions against Armenia, which was officially sent to the Secretariat 20 days ago, and which was published on the official website of the Council, and which was put into its agenda, how can we expect any progress in the resolution of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict during our chairmanship? We can only expect to see pressure from the Council of Europe, and they could only succeed to come up with a libelous and misleading motion. In fact, numerous resolutions of the UN, the Council of Europe and the European Parliament condemned the Armenian occupation and asked for the unconditional withdrawal of Armenian forces from the occupied territories. But they are of no use, as they have not been implemented. Artık bu şubut olundur ki tamamıyla Avrupa şurası bu işten maraklı değil.